Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCGB desk, we come up with new video. This video is very important regarding a VMS software. This software is very important software in the Indian market. The software name is HF Velocity for PC software. So basically in this video we are going to discuss that what is HF Velocity's PC software and then we will tell you its feature and characteristics and after that we come with a practical part we first download the software and then try to install it and after that we will show you how you configure so that you make a life so keep watching please like and share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one so let us start the video so first thing is what is HF Velocity software this app is designed by High Focus. it is an Indian enterprise that has many security surveillance products parametric access system and all wells. The company is renowned and the brand value is high. You can get these items anywhere in the country. The service centers are located in many places so there is no issue of servicing and product care. The application is devised by high focus and has many ultimate features. So the we are going to discuss now we are going to few feature HF velocity for PC. It gives you live video the main and the second thing, the footage and the image you receive is in, are in real time. It's hardly a few seconds lag. The advanced auto correction technology gives you a continuous flow of data even in low networking areas. It means it auto adjusts the bandwidth and the frame rate of the camera. You can operate the device from any remote location. It means you can zoom in, zoom out the image also. This software supports PTZ camera for desktop. You can pan, tilt, and zoom PTZ devices. It supports two-way audio if your camera is built-in audio. It alerts an alarm when it senses any suspicious activity if you enable it. You can preset sensitive areas. And the main thing, you can record, playback, and take a snap. It supports manual recording and cloud server recording. You can add device manually by IP address or scanning the QR code means you, once you scan the QR code you will get the serial number so let us start the our practical part the first thing you should do that you should open your Google Chrome or any browser and select any profile after that you should select HF search HF velocity for PC and press enter when you press enter here you find the not lot of website but I generally prefer CCB desk because it is the only a place where you get the mini software regarding the camera. So when you open it, here you find that download for PC and download for Mac OS, right? So what you should do, you just click on Windows OS because in my case my OS is Windows. Ok, just click on this. When you click on this, it start downloading. Ok. So let the download finish. Let the love. And after that we will discuss how you install and how you configure so that you make a live view. So keep downloading. Here our download is finished. I just close this and just click on three dot and go to download. Here you find our software. Just click on show in folder. When you click on show in folder, you find the exact file here. After that, you will do that. Just right click on the software on the downloaded file and click that stack button option. When you click that stack option. It automatically make a folder just just double click on this for on that folder and here you find uh, your installation installer file or installation file or exe file or application file okay just right click on the application file and click on run as administrator and after that click yes now 
now click on ok and here you take your area so you can choose according to your choice just click ok and wait for a few minutes click on I accept click on next again click on next now this time it installed VCR Redis S36 ok and after that it install your executing file or exe file now it install your murder client file So the installation is complete. Now you have to check this launch software and click finish. It will take time to give you a pop up screen or login screen. So you should here you should enter username and password the password default password is and just click login once you login it asks for a security question just put anything here I just put anything because I just give a demo you can choose the question according to your ease so now it is the default layout screen of the software the first thing you should do that you should give access to any drive so that it will record in that drive also if you need so I in my case I just give my e drive just click ok the first thing you should do click on home and then click on the resource management when you click on resource management here you find the option add just click on add when you click on add you find that there is two options quickly add and manually add quickly if you can if you and dvr or nvr ip camera is connected and your laptop is connected on the same network you should quick click on quickly add it will automatically give you a ip address and all you just click and press ok if you want to add nvr of any remote location you just click on manually add when you click on ma manually add here you find a lot of options IP address, IP range, domain, serial number, URL so IP address is for local IP address and for static IP address and for domain and for serial if you want to uh, connect your remote location by serial number you just put a serial number here here you put here you a serial number here you give a port 6036 and username and password and just click ok I want to access my NVR through IP address or static IP address so I just click on IP address after that I enter my IP address 103 okay here I should enter my password and just click on test and here you, here you get the test succeed um, of message click ok and click on this ok when you click on this ok it will take time to connect when it's connected you get the status online you get the model number you get version everything you need okay so i just click on now click on home and after that just click on the live view and here you find your camera just double click on any camera here you find your camera okay so thanks for watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one thank you have a nice day